I have the best guard build in NBA 2K19 with proof, y'all. And a fire jump shot. Check this out. What's good YouTube? Easy Breezy here and I'm back with another video for you all. Now guys, today we got gameplay of the best my player build or guard build in NBA 2K19, y'all. Now, let me just show y'all the build. It's literally on the screen now. I fast forwarded it just so y'all can like, we can just get past this. I already made a build video before, but this build is basically a playmaking shot creator, playmaking shot creator, shot creating first, playmaking secondary. Um, six five. What else? Six five weight is the lowest, and I made the arm length two notches down, just to be safe. And this build is insanely good, y'all. Now you heard it here first. Everybody's been making short players. Um, even like, so I was talking to my friend, bro. He was watching Annoying or whatever. Annoying was uh, supposedly going crazy and stuff. He was making all the shots. He was like, don't make a 6-5, bro. You're going to be missing all your shots and crap like that. I'm like, okay. I'm still going to make it, though, because I'm not about to copy anybody else's wave, bro. I've been saying I'm making the 6-5 since, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. I'm not making a short player, bro. I'm not making a short player. So I made this player. We took him to the park first game on, bro. First game on, I'm still undefeated. I played like a decent amount of games. Still undefeated as of now. And um, yeah, so I was running with my boy Hundo DF. And we were going crazy, bruh. Now, y'all will see this jump shot that I'm using is actually insane. This jump shot goes crazy as well. Now, y'all know it was my first game, so I had to change the camera angle. And I was low-key super nervous because I never played park before. And I saw some gameplay and stuff, but I, I still never played it. And I wanted to catch a dub my first game. I mean, these dudes weren't even that good. But still, like, you still get kind of nervous. So what I'm doing out here is, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get my fadeaways since I am a um, playmaker. Since I am a shot creating playmaker. Or playmaking shot creator. And as y'all can see, I missed those two shots right off the bat, bruh. Now y'all are probably like, bro, this build is trash. Like, come on. Now, that was literally my first two jumpers at park. You got to understand that. Now, that dude missed, you feel me? We got the ball back. I got a board, horsey breezy, and that cut. And I come over here. I shoot again. I don't know why I shot that. Hundo got the board. I missed three shots already. I'm over here worried about my build. I'm like, oh, shoot. Let me find out I need to hit my career and get all my badges before I come to park. But no, that is not the case. Now, after that, I did not miss anymore at all i was hitting everything i'm like oh shoot is that about to go in <laughs> did the little swirly like a little toilet bowl um toilet bowl animation so i was like oh shoot this might be bad hit another shot after this like i said i was not missing the jump shot i am using is high school one high school one has always been a banger jump shot every 2k every 2k high school one has been a jump shot that I could rely on right at the beginning of the game. On um on 2K17, I used high school one. On 2K18, I used high school one at the beginning every year, bro. And on 2K19, I used high school one, and I'm still using high school one right now until I find my high school one's like that jump shot that you use until you find your actual jumper. That you know what I'm saying? It's like a it's like a, a temporary, a temporary that you know that's gonna work out for you. So that that's why I always use high school. As you guys can see, it's working out for me. I got I got takeover. I was mad hype. I'm like, oh shoot, let me activate it real quick. I can speed boost. Then once I got takeover, so I can kind of speed boost without it, even though I'm not 86 or I don't have an 86 ball control yet. But the, once you max out this player, it can't have an 87 ball control. So that's pretty good. But 
it, it, it felt like I could speed boost even when I didn't have takeover, but it was like a small speed boost and it wasn't like super, you know what I'm saying? It was just a small little speed boost. You see me hitting that green right there. I do got takeover and I have yet to miss with the takeover, um, the takeover badge or icon or whatever. I have yet to miss with it in my career or park. I've never missed with the takeover badge. So I don't know what's up with that. I, maybe my really, bro, I just feel like, I just feel like a guy when I have takeover. So it's like, you feel me? Cause I am green up. I know y'all see this. This player build goes crazy and it's six five. You're not a little baby. If you miss your shots, you can play defense and get the ball right back, bro. Straight up. So I know y'all seeing me in the game off with the green coach. Now look, at, hold on. Let's just take a moment to look at the scoreboard. 17 points from your boy Breezy. Missed three shots, and those are the only three shots I missed. And then my boy Hundo, he went crazy, did not miss. So that was my first game of my park with literally no experience, no anything, and I dropped 17, and I hit plenty of greens. The jump shot's amazing. So let me just show y'all high school one. So high school one is not called high school one in um in nba 2k19 it was only called that in 16 because like you could play in high school and it looked like a high i guess it was like a high schooler's release like it was a doo doo cake release like that so as y'all can see this is high school one it's called amateur one in this game and it's kind of interesting because like amateur is a rep level now and it was called amateur last year too so yeah so that's basically it for um for the jump shot and everything it's a decent jump shot i mean it's a great jump shot you're not gonna have issues with it especially for centers centers are really good with it as well so anytime i ever like start off a 2k out i always put that jumper on because i can always hit like i don't know i always get away with contested jumpers and hitting just like crazy shots off the bat especially it's really good with mid-ranges so that's really it y'all let me know what y'all think about the build I'm bringing y'all this just cuz, you know what I'm saying? I don't want y'all to be making like trash players, like no cap. You heard it from me first, bro. Use this build, 6'5 playmaking shot creator. Don't copy a trash wave, bro. Copy a good wave, like myself. Do not be making trash short players that can't do, and make it a point guard too. Cause like making it a shooting guard slows you down, but you do get a little bit more badges. It ain't worth it, bro. It's really not worth it, but yeah you heard it from me first bro this build got like they gonna patch it they're gonna patch it i, I hope it's not soon though <laughs> no cap bro this build's overpowered but um hopefully y'all did enjoy spam up the like button like smash the like button y'all and if you made it this far bro comment cookies bro just comment cookies i will be reading all comments if you made it this far comment cookies you, you feel me i will acknowledge you but I'm out, y'all. Peace. Have a great day.